I'm planning a trip to Israel and Jordan in the next few weeks, and I wanted to show you some of the clothes that I'll be bringing on my trip. Here I have the Evolution Pant 2.0, and I'm wearing the Limitless Polo and the Versa hat all by Western Rise. I've already been testing these for about a month. I've taken them on several shorter trips, so I know they fit and work great, and I'm excited to try them out on a longer international trip. Today, I'll go into more detail on the Evolution pants, and I'll follow up with the polo and the hat in a later video. If you've watched my channel before, you know I'm a big fan of both synthetic and merino wool fabrics for travel. And unlike cotton, they're low maintenance, lightweight, they pack down small in your bag, they're easy to clean, and they can look great if you have the right style. The Evolution pants are some of the nicest travel pants I've tested so far. They're lightweight, comfortable, they look great, and they're very low maintenance. The fabric is 100% synthetic. It's a blend of nylon and elastane. This works great for travel pants because they're very strong and durable, but also lightweight, easy to care for, and comfortable with a slight stretch. The thickness measured in GSM or grams per square meters is 107. That makes this a lighter weight fabric. They work good in both cool and they're also good for warmer temperatures. These are also made with 8% elastane, meaning they're gonna be slightly stretchy. Nowhere like yoga pants or pajamas or anything, but just enough stretch and give to make them flexible and comfortable. Now looking at some of the features on the Evolution pants, some people think that there's a certain style or features that make a pant a travel pant, but this isn't exactly true. For me, any pair of pants can be a travel pant as long as they meet several criteria. They need to be lightweight, pack down small in your bag, be low maintenance, meaning wrinkle resistant and easy to clean, and ideally they will make you look great. For me, the Evolution pants meet all of these criteria as well as having some bonus features. They're very lightweight, thin fabric. This is the 38 inch waist with a 32-34 inseam. This weighs in at about 14.4 ounces or 0.41 kilograms on my scale. Compare that to a much bulkier pair of jeans in the same size. These are 50% more, about 22.1 ounces. These will also pack down much smaller than a similar sized bulky cotton jeans. These are gonna take up way less room in your bag, allowing you to take a much smaller pack on your trip. In addition to being lightweight and packing down small, the Evolution pants also have some extra pockets that work great for travel. They use a five pocket style design here with these top opening pockets on the front, very similar to the style used in most jeans. Contrast that with the chino style where the pockets are gonna be more angled in from the side. The left pocket over here is large and deep going down to about here. On the right side, similar style with the large main pocket, but we have an extra divider over here, goes down to about here. Something you can use, you can put a phone in here, or what I like to do is use it for my travel wallet. Rear pockets, also similar to the jean style. The left one over here is just a plain top opener, while the right one on this side has a secret zippered pocket behind the seam. The zipper pull is also very small, so it's almost impossible to tell this pocket is here if you don't know where it is. However, it's fairly easy to just casually reach around and open, unzip this pocket if you know it's there. I love hidden zippered pockets on travel pants. It's a great low key way to hide your valuables and not look like you're trying to hide anything. It's a great secure place to give your wallet or some extra credit cards or cash, but it makes it much more difficult for someone to just casually pickpocket you. Now my thoughts on the fit and comfort on the Evolution pants. I went with a larger 38 inch waist and a 32, 34 inch inseam. This is the size that I generally wear for most other styles of pants. And I found that it also fit me well here. Another feature that lets you know these are well-made pants is this gusset here. Basically just an extra piece of fabric that's sewn into the crotch. Doesn't look like much, but compared to a pair of pants that doesn't have it, it's gonna get rid of this seam here, which is really bulky, all the four of these pieces of fabric coming together. It's also gonna make the pants much more comfortable, give you extra room to move around and stretch. And like I said earlier, the stretchiness of this fabric, it's not excessive, but it's just enough to make them stretchy and comfortable. As far as care and maintenance goes, these are very low key, easy to maintain pants. This is great for being out on the road. They're wrinkle free, easy to wash, and relatively stain free. These do hold wrinkles slightly. I've been wearing them all day, mostly sitting down, and you can see some slight wrinkles here on the seam where my hip goes. However, it's really barely noticeable for the amount of time that I've been wearing these pants. So as long as you fold them properly, put them in a packing cube when you travel, any wrinkles that do come around are gonna generally disappear as you wear them. 
Now, as far as the water and stain resistance goes, Western Rise has some videos on their website of dunking the pants in water that make it look like these pants are basically waterproof. And while the fabric does beat up when you pour water on it, if you let it set, it will soak through. So yes, a small quick spill will repel off the fabric as long as you clean it up quickly. However, these are not rain pants. So if you find yourself out in a rainstorm or something, you will get wet. In summary, after over a month of use, I'm loving the Evolution pants so far. They're comfortable, lightweight, they pack down very small, and they're very low maintenance. And because they're synthetic, I expect these pants are gonna last for many years of hard travel. I hope you enjoyed this review on the Western Rise Evolution Pant 2.0. I hope you stick around for my future videos, talk about more about the polo and the Versa hat. And again, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.